Hello, everybody. Welcome into Talking Fitchburg on this Wednesday, June 30th, 2021. I'm Jeremy Crosby, ending your June right here on Talking Fitchburg. Yeah, another day, another uh, month gone by. And, and as I think I usually say, now we're like in the rush. Like now summer's going like gangbusters. So you got to like get everything booked, have the fun, party it up, eat as many brats as possible. Andrew and I, we should have a little brat eating contest, see how many we can put down this summer. Probably not healthy for uh, either one of us. <laughs> but. I think it would be a lot of fun if we uh, keep track of that. So uh, we'll mark this day, uh, the final day in June, as our uh, competition uh, goes on here. And I'm just going to say I'll uh, beat you every day, Andrew, eating brats. So do you even like brats, Andrew? Does it, does... All right, good. He says he loves them. So this should be a good uh, competition. Uh, but that's not where I was going with this. Uh, <laughs> it is uh, the last day of June and happy to be coming in uh, July tomorrow. And uh, with that, we have a very busy show coming up for you. We'll check in with the BBB. Uh, talking about booking those safe vacation. This is why I, this, there was a point behind sort of behind this. Uh, and that is uh, if you're going on vacation, we want to make sure you plan it right. Uh, Tiffany will be here from the Better Business Bureau to help us out with that. Plus, we check in with Fritz Rohn and EMS Jeff Doslick. Let's talk about the peer support program. Uh, it's part of uh, our public safety here and uh, city staff. Uh, we'll uh, break that down for you uh, coming up. So you want to stay tuned for a great show here. Let's get into the headlines. And we start with this education lead for Latinx caregiver program. New Bridge Madison and the city of Fitchburg are developing a three month support and training program directed towards Latinx older adults who have taken on the role of a caregiver within their family. Additionally, this program also benefits individuals caring for uh, the parents and or grandparents and in need of support. If you are interested in uh, uh, signing up for this position, you can submit resumes uh, to this. Uh, submit your resume and answers questions below to Garrett. Uh, that's G-A-R-R-E-T-T-T -T -T at NewBridgeMadison.org uh, as soon as possible. And you can uh, see the position uh, available there. And uh, experience uh, is uh, 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 encouraged for applying for this one. We'll get you more details as that comes in. All right, Festival of Speed, uh, we've got uh, all the information on that. We were just talking about it yesterday, and we finally got in all the information uh, here uh, for uh, that great event. So Festival of Speed will be taking place on Saturday, July 10th at Agora Pavilion. That's kind of like the uh, center of all of this, but uh, there's events all over the place. And the first event kicking off at 7.30 a.m. is the 25-mile ride. Uh, that's uh, the Fitchburg Family Pharmacy 25-mile uh, ride. So you can join that and the group as they head out on a great scenic tour of the Sugar River uh, farmland and so much more you'll uh, be able to take part in that then the Andy Nelson donor dash 5k starts at 8 a.m. remember that the top 15 males and the top 15 uh, females that finish will participate in the quick trip $1,000 mile run uh, later in the evening we'll tell you about that in just a second criterium kicks off at 10 30 a.m. Runs through the eight o'clock hour. Uh, this is uh, kind of the uh, center of attention in the Wisconsin Cycling Association, uh, Wisconsin State Championships. So uh, spectators are uh, can come and watch uh, this. Uh, they battle for lots of different prizes uh, all day long. So the competition is hot, as they would say. Uh, maybe they wouldn't say that. I don't know. I, just, I think it's hot. Kids fun run <laughs> happening at 2.40 p.m. There'll be a one lap around the Gora Pavilion or around the Gora buildings. And then the quick trip $1,000 mile. That's top 15 males, top 15 females will have a chance to run for 1000 bucks. It'll be a lot of fun. That uh, kicks off at 7 o'clock p.m. Live music starts at 5 p.m. Uh, with this year, it's uh, Mascot Theory and Frank Martin and Bush and the names. I, I've never heard of it, but uh, sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. Got refreshments and food all day long and fireworks to end the evening at 9 p.m. All right. Uh, speaking of fireworks, most injured part of the body due to fireworks is the hands. Yeah, of course. It's always the hands, right? Yeah, you got to be careful. National Fire Protection Association uh, reminds everyone about the injuries that can occur from using fireworks. Yeah, 28% uh, uh, are uh, hand or fingers. 24% uh, uh, is the legs. 
10% is the trunk or other. <laughs> I like that. Uh, head uh, and ears uh, face uh, 15%. Eyes, 19%. So coming in pretty high. And more than 44% of the injuries were burn-related. So please be careful when you're uh, out enjoying uh, the... Uh, 4th of July weekend. All right, uh, that uh, does it for our headlines. Coming up next, we open up the digest. We're going to be uh, talking about booking that vacation and making sure you book it safely. That's next right here on Talking Fitchburg. <laughs> 